Armory Disc Golfers, welcome back to another video. Latitude 64 does two things really, really well. They make the best plastic in the game and they make discs that glide. The good people over at Latitude 64 were kind enough to send me over their new prototype discs, the Brave, which you just saw fly, and the Strive. So I'm going to throw them for six holes here today. We're going to take a look at these because I think that these discs are going to start taking over a lot of people's bags, or at least I really think they should be taking over a lot of people's bags. Let's get into it. Look, I know that it's a bold and sensational claim to say that two discs are gonna be taking over people's bags or whatever, but I think that Grand Plastic is the best overall plastic in the game for drivers. And I think that for beginners all the way up to top level players, you're gonna be able to get use out of one or both of these. We're gonna look at the Strive, which is supposed to be an understable rive. A little low, but just nice, smooth distance easy turn but doesn't want to turn and burn still has stability at the end that's a great max distance driver i feel like the strive handles like a grace if that makes sense but it just has that extra tick or two of distance so if you're like me you just have this thing in your head where it's like oh 11 speeds don't go as far as 12 and 13 speeds or whatever the strive could be a really good call and the brave could be a really good call if you like fairway drivers that never want to land It's got under stability for sure. It's also got a ton of glide. Turn that one over a little bit. We'll have to throw it some more. Last 64 said that with the Brave, they're trying to accomplish something that's between the river and the Explorer. And I think it's more rivery than Explorer-y, <laughs> which makes me think they might tweak it just a touch. And these are prototypes, so they might be tweaked. This finished about 30 feet over here, but I'm gonna pull it out so you can see it on a long turning Anheuser. definitely is cool with holding Anheusers throughout its entire flight. That's really smooth. It reminds me a lot of the Discraft Cicada, which actually leads to a point that I want to talk about. The Cicada has flight numbers of 7, 6, negative 1, 1, and this flies, like I said, like a Cicada. It's a great putter too, apparently. But more importantly, it flies like a river, which isn't a problem per se. The river's an amazing disc, but Latitude 64 already has the river. So I want to talk about flight numbers real quick. This is going to be a seven speed. It's supposed to be between the river and the Explorer. They can't call this a seven, seven, negative one, one, because like I said, they have the river. They can't call it a seven, six, negative one, one, because then people will just say, oh, that's the worst version of the river. If they go seven, seven, negative two, one, now you're running into the mall. So I think that what they want is seven, six, negative one, two for this disc. I think this disc is great, but I wouldn't give it seven, six, negative one, two flight numbers in its current iteration. Let's see how the Strive handles forehands. A little bit of turn, but man, this disc just makes distance, go in. Oh, this disc makes distance feel so easy. The funny thing about the Strive though that I'm trying to figure out is that they said it's a less stable rive instead of saying that it's a faster grace, which if they just said it was a faster grace, I'd say, well, easy, 13.6, negative one, two, that's what they're gonna run out with. And they might still do that, but, because I think that that's the flight numbers that I would give the Strive. But if they were to say 13.5, negative one, three instead, I wouldn't hate that. I don't really think it has negative three glide. <laughs> And I think that if they say 13, five, negative one, two, like I said, they should have just called it a faster grace. I mean, people would love that too. I didn't set out on this to do the whole like putt with the disc you're reviewing thing, but I've done it a couple times now and I feel like I need to commit to it. <laughs> Goodness grief. Honestly, not worse than my normal putter anyway. I said I was gonna do six holes, but this is a par five. So I'm just gonna do five and call it good. You're gonna get to see it fly plenty. Here's the strive again. I mean, seriously, as soon as I can get my hands on an orange one of these, it is going straight, straight into the bag. Just kidding, change of plan. This will be the last hole that I throw because my battery is dying on my camera and I thought that I had the backup. Apparently not. We're gonna see this on a hyzer flip. A little bit of an uphill run up. So I'm actually gonna throw a little bit to the right. I'm a cheater. I don't even feel like that was a good release and it still got up off of hyzer and drifted 
before coming back. And like I said, I think there's a lot more distance and turn in the tank. I just released it weird. And I kind of actually like that I didn't get like a great release on it or whatever, because it also simulates just throwing at different power. Like here, this is probably like 230-ish, 250 maybe to the pin. So I'm just gonna throw it on hyzer and I expect it to just hold hyzer and have a nice swooping fade in. Well, I released it too straight, but it did have a nice hyzer with a, with a swooping fade. That ridiculous glide actually kind of cost me because now I've got a C2 look with a fairway driver. Oh baby, let's go. I'm really excited about both of these, particularly the Strive, but the Brave feels like an FD with like an extra injection of glide and a little less stability. It feels like a river. This flies like a river in its current iteration. Let me know what flight numbers y'all would give these. And if the camera dies before I get to tell you proper goodbye, thanks for watching. I threw it low because I'm scared. I will admit that to you. Ooh, it's got fight. Great, that's a look. You'll be seeing a lot more of these both from Lat64 and from me, I'm sure, because I'm really enjoying them. Final putt, and then we're gonna cut the video.